What's up everybody? Just uh, getting ready to go out on another fishing trip and thought I would make a last minute stop as always to the grocery store. I don't know why I always do that, but got a few things. Gonna hop in, go load up a few things at my house and head out. So stay tuned. I also had to take the plunge and get some new tires today. My other ones were pretty wore out and unreliable. So brand spanking new. I've had pretty good success with these tires. They ride pretty smooth and do pretty well off-road. So, let's see how they go. All right, well, I decided that I wanted to leave the next morning and here I am, woke up at four something in the morning and we're off. I'd rather get a good night's sleep than drive when I'm all tired, so here we go. Well, made it to about the halfway point get a little bit of a late start which is par for the course for me I usually take forever to get out the door I don't know why I think I need 47 pairs of pants 50 pairs of socks 13 jackets that I've never even wore I don't know but I did bring my bow just in case I have a little downtime I can get some shots in get ready for the hunt but yeah let's just hope I don't see a herd of any kind of animal because that might derail my schedule even more so. But I will get there and I honestly have no idea where I'm gonna fish, which is kind of bothering me because I usually like to have everything planned out, but I'm just gonna kind of fly by the seat of my pants and pick a lake and go for it. And it might be a lake that I always go to. I wanna try something new, but sometimes those uh, old stomping grounds are the, the money makers, so we'll see. I guess you could say I can get easily distracted by the wildlife, but how could I not, honestly? But made it on the mountain here. Stopped at a little pond just to, to look and see if there's anything in it. There wasn't. It's a little shallow thing. Usually these shallower lakes, I'll get winter killed if there is anything in there. Especially something that little and that shallow. But they're always worth a look. But it sure is pretty. Thank you. 
So do you know those times when you're headed to a particular place and you miss the road and it starts leading you to another place? And then it's too late to realize that you missed your turn. So you're kind of committed to just heading somewhere else. Well, that's what we're doing. And I am on a pretty bumpy road here. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are cutting it pretty close. Why do I do this to myself? I made it and it's not looking that good water level is extremely low and I actually visited this place and fished it a few years ago and there were very very few fish in here I'm not saying that there aren't any in here but I honestly don't even think it's worth spending a lot of time here but I can't really leave here going through what I just did with my low clearance truck without fishing. So we'll give it a try for a little bit and see what happens. All right, well, we're gonna give it a try since we're here. I have to at least say that I tried to make, to justify the drive in here. It was horrible. That low clearance truck is not recommended. I haven't seen much action. I was hoping I'd see a few hit the top, but there's not a, there's not a lot going on and that might be a very telling sign of what's to come out of this lake. So we'll see what we can do and hopefully we can get a fish to follow it or even better bite it. So let's try it. Super shallow. Let's see if I can find a little bit deeper spot. One thing about these lakes that don't have a lot of fish in them, even though the population is low, if there's a few fish in here, it means that they don't have to compete for food. So they tend to grow a little bit bigger. So I'm hoping there might be some decent ones in here. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. This is just not looking good. Even if the fish aren't biting, normally you'll get something at least following it in. So, and I didn't, I did not see a single fish, not even cruising, nothing. So let's cut our losses and see if we can make it back out of here. All right, well, I'm out of here. I don't want to say that that was a complete waste of time because it's always worth trying especially after the road that I was on. I have to justify it somehow, but I don't think I'll be coming back to this place. Not until it fills up a little bit. So, on to the next. Alrighty, well, I made it out of that last spot that I was in. Luckily, that it, that's not a road for a stock vehicle, I'll tell you that right now. I rubbed the bottom of my vehicle many times on the way out. Bottomed out. But made it to this lake. I'm going to try this for a little while. Ran into a follower of mine on Instagram, Jackson. It was good talking to you. You're a cool dude. Thanks for chatting. Uh, but it looks like it's a little breezy right now. Not too bad. There are a few fish hitting the top as it uh, calms down. It's calming down every few minutes and then it'll kick up a little bit with a little bit of breeze. But 
I'm gonna grab my float tube and I'm going to kick out there and see what I can do. I don't know what it is about me and bad luck, but that didn't work out. I can't believe this. I guess I can believe it, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna have to take my pants off now. They're soaking wet. Look at this. This sucks. Okay, off come the pants. Yup. That'll do it. Oh my heck. Uh, I don't care how silly I look. <laughs> but I'm going to keep fishing. Screw this. Not going to let it get me down here. <sighs> Hopefully nobody shows up and sees me out here doing this, but... <laughs> Gotta do what you gotta do. underestimated how beautiful this, these fish are. Holy cow. Guess right now would be a good time to get a net, right? Thing is gorgeous. Look at that fin. Look at the color on that. I knew these things were pretty, but honestly, I definitely underestimated how pretty these things are. <laughs> that fin is gorgeous. Look at the blue on that. Wow. That is amazing. Don't mind me and my skivvies. Things just sometimes just don't go as planned, so you have to make the best of it. And this is proof. Pretty fish. Let's get him back in. Trying to let my pants dry off a little bit. I have some shorts back at the truck, but <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stick it out in these uh, boxers for a little bit so I can wait out. But that was awesome. That thing was actually more of a fight than I thought it would be, and it's gorgeous. I, I can't believe how how pretty those fish are. Let's try for another one.
fin isn't as big as the last one, but still pretty. That's awesome. Fish on. Seems like when they start hitting the top, you just got to look out because you're next. As soon as I start seeing them around me just start starting to hit, I can almost guarantee you that I'm going to get a, at least a strike. Another really pretty one. It's wanting to go. I seriously forget how hard it is to grab a fish without a net in the water. It's super hard. And these little fish are embarrassing me because I can't even, they're strong. They're stronger than they look. Look at that. Get a little breeze and then it glasses out a little bit. I'm gonna try for maybe a couple more and I'm thinking about trying another spot. So we'll see what we can do. And then about the time when I felt it raise up to about right here is when I got out and the whole crotch was just ripped out. So I don't know how that happened. Like, do those things have a warranty? Let's go pick. I've only used those probably three times. I have no idea what they're called. Frog togs, log togs, what, I don't know. They were cheap, and I guess you get what you pay for, right? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Missed another one. Holy eat the fly, or? Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. I'm getting a lot of strikes on this thing. I don't think they're committing. I think they're coming up and just kind of pretty much just sinking it. I don't think they're eating it. I think they're just kind of swiping at it. A couple of those looked actually really nice. I find it interesting how you'll see them start to hit the top on both sides and it's not long before right in front of you they start hitting and you start getting hit. It's like they're all synchronized. They all decide when they want to bite. So that is five that I have missed. I don't know what much, you know, I don't know what I can do more than what I've done. I just think that they're they're missing it. I'm blaming the fish, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Not me. I didn't miss the fish. They missed me. Okay, chances are I missed it. I think the last people that were here had a a camera and they zoomed in on me and they were just like, okay. Probably took a picture of me and gonna post me on the internet.
to show them. There he goes. Pretty fun. So my thoughts are that something in the universe said, hey, Travis needs to get some sun on his legs because they're extremely white. And this was the only way to do it, I guess. Dry my socks out right there. My pants. They got a long way to go, but they're making a little bit of progress. Fishing slowed a little bit. Look at that thing, so pretty. Alrighty, well just made it back. Fishing died off pretty quick, uh, but I did land quite a few, I missed even more, but all that counts is I caught a few, so I had a good time, uh, despite the fact that I soaked my pants and my jacket, and I'm still actually in my boxers. <laughs> still had a good time. I'm gonna go cook some food, and hopefully I can try somewhere else if there's enough time, but I don't think there will be. Um, tomorrow morning I'm gonna try a, another spot and see if we can get into some other species of fish. Just getting ready to cook some dinner. Got some potatoes, some onions. I got some hamburger in there that I'm gonna throw on the fire as soon as that's warm. But in the meantime, I'm going to make me some overnight oats. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically oatmeal mixed with uh, almond milk. You can use probably any kind of milk. Uh, peanut butter and fruit. Usually just fill that about, I don't know, quarter of the way. But, looks like I have a little extra. It's probably a little bit more than quarter, but that's fine. And then... Throw in our fruit. Basically got some strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. They are a little bit mushed up from being in the cooler and bouncing around. We all know I've been on some roads. But basically, you're going to want to actually cut these. Let's 
say like that. And then throw them in there. I'll do that to the rest of those and then I'll show you when I'm producing. All right. Got the blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and I got that peanut butter in there. I think I went a little overboard on pretty much every ingredient there, so we'll just have to deal with that. I don't mind, though. We'll see if I can even fit any almond milk in there. And this is basically vanilla almond milk. Whoop. She's overflowing. Basically what you do is you fill that up as much as you can, then you put the lid on it, shake it around, and then you just let it sit in, in the fridge or in a cooler. And then by the time morning rolls around, you got yourself a nice little breakfast treat. So that's what I'll be having. All right, well, this is what I'm eating. You're probably like, um, okay, is this for like your whole family? No, this is just for me. Apparently I have an eating problem <laughs> or I'm just hungry. But this hamburger right here is from a local company called Paisley's. It's really good. And I'm going to throw that on the hot coals, see how it turns out. Looks pretty good right there. So now I'm going to grab the burger. Like my lights. I'm going to grab that. Put some olive oil on there, along with some seasoning. I'm just gonna put that right there. That way, it'll help steam the potatoes and the onions, and it'll also cook the burger. So we'll see how that looks in about I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. We'll take a peek at it. I think I'm gonna rotate this burger a little bit. Okay, I flipped the burger. And now I am planning on taking this grill part off. And I kind of got to thinking I have these tools in my truck to have these T-handles. So the plan is I'm going to put the handles in there on both sides and pull that off. It may work, it may not work. And unfortunately for you guys, I'm going to have to put the phone down. I don't have a GoPro yet. I will in the future. So bear with me on the quality of these videos, but uh, yeah, wish me luck. That actually worked a little better than I thought it would. At least enough to get that lid off so I can poke these around. Those are looking good. Way good. The fire is hot. Looking good. So I was wondering how I should eat this burger, and I think I'm just gonna put it in with the potatoes. And then just chop it up in there. that a little bit there it is it's 
yellow tooth. So good. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, it is the next day and I have a change of clothes. Lucky for you. I'm um, gonna try here for a little bit. There's quite a few different species in here. Probably not gonna give it a whole lot of time because um, I actually wanna drive up further and try a couple other lakes, but this was on the way, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So here we go. Nothing there. I'm gonna go to the other side. Looks like there's a little inlet over there. I would imagine that there'd be fish congregating over there with that fresh water coming in. So we'll try that and hopefully catch one or two. Water is so much higher than it was the last time I was here. This was nothing more than just a channel that went right through the middle here where the inlet fed the reservoir. Did really good, caught a bunch of tigers the last time. Um, and I saw some really big fish. They almost looked like splake that were kind of in the shadows coming in and they looked really big, but they never been. So, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna go closer to where the inlet is, where the water's coming in and see if we can catch a tiger. Just had one follow it in, looked like a brown. Just a little guy. He's got like a red eye going on. Somebody definitely farted in his pillow. I was only able to catch that one little rainbow, but I'm gonna focus on right in there. That channel comes in from a creek and there's a little deep spot that kind of rolls right through this area right here. But it's kind of hard fishing because I'm picking up a lot of vegetation. So I'm gonna try and bomb it over there and see if I can pick anything up. When I was coming down to the water, my hand just started stinging and I couldn't figure out what the heck happened and on my way out, well, I walked right through some stinging nettle. Beautiful. All right, well that concludes the trip. I thought I'd stop this last lake and try for a little bit, but there's just too many people here and I think I'm just going to call it a day. Uh, yesterday was a pretty good day, caught quite a few grayling. A lot of the footage got cut out because this phone just got way too hot. So I'm hoping in the future I'll have a GoPro, but apparently they have the same issue. So at least it'll be easier to film with a GoPro rather than this. So thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I will be posting a lot more on this channel. So thanks.